here we are testing the weedinator on a bed of vegetables with the Pixie 2 line tracking camera uh, which is mounted over the left hand wheel there on the end of that aluminium bar so it's pointing down onto the blue rope about there so what I'm trying to do is to get the machine to navigate along this bed of vegetables following that blue rope it's in autonomous mode so all I need to do is give it a bit of throttle and uh, let's see if it can follow that line not just follow the line it needs to follow it accurately okay right that noise was the steering being adjusted so ideally the line should be just on the edge of the wheel like that so if that wheel could follow along the line there at this kind of accuracy then whatever weeding attachment is on the machine it'll weed accurately between those plants that's the theory anyway so getting the navigation accurate is really important precision is everything in this uh, project GPS is okay I can get about plus or minus 20 millimeters with the um, U-blocks error correcting GPS but it's not really good enough for actual weeding it's great for going along a track and navigating to the bed of vegetables for a series of waypoints but when we're actually on the vegetables themselves we need better navigation than that so and this is working really well I'm guessing that that's following the line to about uh, 10 millimeters at the moment it's not too bad uh, the weather conditions are quite good at the moment we've just got a nice bank of grey cloud working in bright sunshine is a little bit more challenging but on the last test the machine did actually navigate exactly like this in bright sunshine as well so it's not too much of an issue the colour of the line uh, seems to be a um, major consideration blue isn't ideal it should be white you can actually see the vector being produced on the laptop if the laptop's connected to the pixie you can actually see the rope you can see it as a video and the vector and uh, you get a much stronger more precise vector with a, uh, a white rope so that's gonna have to be changed at, the, uh, at some stage so we're actually driving along a bed of um, swede swede's quite easy to grow and it's quite hardy and it's resistant to being whacked with uh, uh, weeding machines uh, such as this during a testing phase so let's have a little look at the accuracy on that wheel it's pretty good it's following that rope really really well i would guess there's quite a lot more adjustments that could be made with the position of the camera by moving the camera closer to the rope i basically just ran out of aluminium bar i could have moved that camera down closer to the rope a little bit more probably will actually do that at some stage but we're getting to the end of the test bed now so i'm gonna have to uh, finish the test i think very soon but yeah i'm pleased with that it's working nicely